Donkey's Guide to Streaming Services. So you want to watch the 1962 film King Kong vs. Godzilla? Well, don't worry, kid. I'm going to catch you up to speed on every streaming service and how to watch exactly what you want to watch. Netflix. I am subscribed to Netflix because it was a better deal than Blockbuster 24 years ago. For $15 a month, you get Sausage Party, The Pope's Exorcist, Young... You did Netflix... Netflix. Um, let's just. What's, what's their origin? Launched in 2007. Okay, no. <laughs> I'm like, it's 2024. Netflix did not launch in 2000. Yeah, no, I definitely remember Blockbuster days um, and the and the DVD delivery. Sheldon, old dads, bad moms, bad boys, bad lieutenant, bad Santa, bad teacher, bad tutor, bad surgeon, bad vegan, bad grandpa, dirty grandpa, stupid boss, ugly Betty, and stinky Walter. You get Equalizer 3, Kung Fu Panda 3, and Croods 1, but Equalizer 1 and Croods 2 are only on Peacock. Equalizer 2 is on Hulu, and Kung Fu Panda 1 is on VIX. You get Gray Man, but not Rain Man. So you get the new Spider-Man, but not the first one, which is on Fubo TV. Since this Fubo? That's not real, is it? Fubo TV. Fubo TV is real. Live sports. That's funny. Wait. Is this? Fubo. This looks like some uh, IPTV. Is this? Is this like, what's it called? Cody? Like some, some black market shit. All right. Whatever. <laughs> Disney owns Marvel. They don't have either. But you can watch the new old Spider-Mans and the old new Spider-Mans and the old old Spider-Mans, except for the newest old Spider-Man, which is only on Stars, which is ten dollars a month. With Stars, you also get John Wick Four, but not the first three, which have just been added to Netflix. However, Stars does offer you the movie Hitman, which is similar because both characters are. I want to know if he's right. If I go to Netflix, uh, let's see, I have it on this Netflix. There we go. John. Wick. So we've got John Wick one and two and three. Oh, that's funny. Like, I didn't know if he was just making a joke out of this. Or to explode John Wick four. We don't have John Wick four. Assassins. The sequel, Hitman Agent 47, is on HBO Max for $20 a month. Or check out David Fincher's new movie, The Killer, on Netflix, which is like watching somebody play the game Hitman. But what if you don't like Hitmans? What if you want to watch Django? Well, I wish you never Django. asked me, because Netflix has the new Django show, and they have Django and Django, but they don't have Django or Django, which is coming soon to stars. A few dollars for Django can be rented on Amazon for a few dollars. Django Shoots First is on Plex. Return of Django is available on Tubi, and Hallelujah for Django is on Roku. If you love Trolls like Leah. Netflix has Trolls Holiday, but not Trolls Holiday in Harmony, which is on Hulu. If you love the first half of Titanic, that's on Crackle, but then you gotta switch over to Voodoo to watch the rest of the movie. Paramount Plus, we had to get to watch Nathan Fielder's new show. Tubi is gonna hook you up with the Fred Trilogy, which is... Uh, like, I think I've got... Um, how, uh, how many of these stupid things do I have? I definitely have Netflix. I've got the, the Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN um, bundle. So that's like 15 bucks. And then Netflix is 10. That's 25 bucks. And then I did the Paramount plus, I think I paid for that for like a whole year. Um, but I only did that so that I could watch like the South park specials, which have been, they've been okay. Mm. I share a crunchy with a friend. That's about it. Crunchy is like the, the anime one, right? Crunchy roll. Is that what it is? Huge AMC Plus is Halloween 5, MGM Plus is Halloween H2O. If you love the movie Gone Girl, Lifetime Movie Club has a different movie called Gone Mom. They have a lot of mom type movies on there. Discovery Plus has seasons one and three of Mythbusters Discovery. Oh, paying for Discovery Plus. I don't watch it, but my fiance does. She loves all that stuff. 
Go has season 7 and 12, Crunchyroll has two episodes of Mythbusters and season 14 of Speed Racer for Bananya. You'll have to subscribe to Funimation now. Dove Channel is for doggy movies. BritBox has the first 12 minutes Wait. of every Mythbusters and season 14 of Speed Racer for Bananya. You'll have to subscribe to Funimation now. Dove Channel is for doggy movies. Dove Channel is for dog movies? No, that's not real. Dove Channel? Is that real? Dove channel. Okay. <laughs> it's like, I have dogs and I guess we maybe we'll put something on. So they have something to watch when we're gone, but I, we actually don't ever do that. So, but this just looks like Hallmark. God, I haven't heard of anything on here. The great elephant escape. This is a, like, this is old stuff with new uh, movie posters done. A turtle's tail. That was, um, that's like Shark Tale, right? But they ripped off the turtle from uh, Finding Nemo. What? Cirque, Cirque, Cirque du Lait. I think is. Definitely seen those. And um, I went to a Circus du Lait when I was in Vegas. I can't imagine it's very. I guess it's probably okay when it's videoed, but. There is a streaming subscription site called Dog TV. It's actually good. Nah, -uh. nah. -uh. What? <laughs> TV for dogs? Oh, every time there's a dog on the television, both of my dogs will watch intently. So if they see other dogs, um, we had the um, was it the Westminster Dog Show? Westminster Dog Show. That was called Westminster. Yeah. That where they like, they, they grade and judge all the dogs. Like I definitely saw legit. They have hundreds of. <laughs> oh, that stuff's crazy. Britbox has the first 12 minutes of every episode of Diamond Geezer for Pokemon. There is a website that tells you how to watch this. You start off on Netflix, then swap over to the Pokemon streaming service, which is the only place that has season two. Then swap over to Prime Video for seasons three through five. I've got Prime Video too, but that's just that comes with the um, the Prime uh, subscription, right? Pokemon. Pokemon Ash Ketchum. There's a bunch of different Pokemon. Is there just like what is all this? They don't have just regular, just Pokemon. Pokemon to go. Ash Ketchum is a boy from Palette. That's like the actual Indigo League episode one. I wanna be the very best. Like there are 20 seasons. Like I think I saw it while it was playing on um you know fox kids or something when i was like a teenager swap to freebie then hoopla season 13 is only on amazon though then swap to tubi then hulu then roku channel and then finally back to the pokemon streaming and then netflix easy now let's talk content trades as you know streaming services only have a temporary license for most of the media they're allowed to stream this allows competing services to acquire the rights for their library unless it's original content they produce like the 20 seasons of Pokemon. He actually won finally like 18 months ago. Like he actually became the very best at season 22. That's funny. Show Willow, which was deleted entirely. Next week, Netflix is trading old dads to ABC iView for Daddy Day Camp. Halloween 5 is switching over to Slice, who is selling John Wick Chapter 3 to Jim so that they can afford the rights for Equalizer 2. Good news for hockey fans, though, this month, Roger NHL Live is finally getting Indiana Jones 4 and 5. But sadly, Fetch users will be losing access to the original Puss in Boots movie, Acorn. Okay. The new Puss in Boots movie is the best like holy crap i can't believe how good that is that on netflix yeah the last wish oh my this god is this is one of the best movies i've seen in so long um, like it's got three bad guys which is fantastic. One of them being actual death. 
who is legit scary for a kid's movie. Puss and Boots Death. Yeah, like he is terrifying in the movie. Oh, he's got those little scythes. Like he's super spooky. And they did really good at like getting him um, under your skin. And, and, you know, they kind of like, oh, was, was like, oh, you're a, you're just a bounty hunter coming for me. If free tier with dog treat commercials, <laughs> watch a dog TV, you know, like, I don't know. We, so I, 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 you know, I think like when we leave to go to dinner or something like that, and we, we create the dogs, um, would they like something to be on while we're gone? Or would that annoy them? Because, you know, we got a little, like a, like a nanny cam thing on them. So I can check on the dogs when we're gone. Um, but would they like something to be on so they can see like, I don't know. It'd be, it'd be kind of messed up though. Like imagine you're in a crate, you got a TV over there. You're watching dogs frolic in the park while you're in a cage. Um, or maybe, you know, even it's like, Hey, I'm, I'm in this crate. I just want to lay down and take a nap, but they got this TV going on with other dogs. It puts me on edge. Like, I don't, I don't know if they would even, even like that. Uh, is it, is it, good to have the TV on for your dogs. Can it it can help them overcome agitations? TV for dogs might be beneficial. Keeps them company, stimulating, help them overcome agitations if your dog is afraid certain objects or occurrences having the television on can help them deal with this and help make your dog uh, equate acquainted with different stimuli which makes them less likely to react in an anxious or startled way if your dog has separation anxiety you might find that pet tv shows help give them something to focus on so they're less anxious it can help them deal with noises Help keep them calm. I mean, the only the, the only issues that my dogs have is like, yeah, it, and it's not even an issue. It's typical dog stuff. If somebody like knocks on the door, like they're gonna go nuts. Um, keep them calm, especially designed. I don't know. Like we watch them on the little cameras, and you know, they usually just sleep. We're gone. So, I don't know. Why dogs only recently started paying attention to the TV is because TVs now have the 12240 refresh rate. Dogs have smaller, tighter brains, which means that where humans start seeing motion at 24, dogs are closer to 78 and 90. So... Okay. So if we're watching like, I mean, it, you know, it seems like, you know, the difference between FPS and Hertz, you know, if I'm, even if my TV is at 240 Hertz and I'm watching a movie that was recorded at 24 frames a second, I'm still only seeing the 24 frames per second. I'm not seeing the 240 refreshes or the 10 refreshes per frame. Motion smoothing. Remember motion smoothing for TVs. Yeah. I don't know. So I'm imagining like a dog. So let's say let's, let's just take like a video game that is actually running at um, like, let's open up some school. So yes, sir. Come on. 
There we go. Okay. So I open up Counter Strike. And I'm at 140 frames a second and 140 refresh rate. Um, so this is something that we are that you're saying the dogs are going to be able to, to see um, smoother because it's a higher frame rate and refresh rate. But if I were to say FPS max 24, so now they're watching this 24 frames a second and it looks like a slideshow to them or they don't get to see it. It looks like pictures are just flashing. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of what it looks like for me. Because <laughs> this supposed to be one forty one. There we go. You know, I mean, like when I go from sixty. Um, 60 hertz with, with V sync on or G sync on, um, versus like 140. Like, I can't necessarily see the difference, but I tell you, like, I can feel the difference in my, in my mouse. All right. All right. What did I do with that? Um, <laughs> Uh, there is. TV is trading Sing 2 to TCM Plus Go, but only if they promise to give Rush Hour 3 to Blaze TV Plus so that they will give Rocky 4 to Mubi so that they will give Acorn TV Fast 5. By using my simple guide, you now understand how to watch every show and movie, except for King Kong vs. Godzilla, because I forgot. HBO Go, which has been rebranded to HBO Now, then HBO Max. HBO Go and HBO Now were out at the same time. They were different things. One of them was for your phone and the other one was for streaming. Like on like Apple TV. And one of them was separate. Um, so if you had if you had like a cable provider and you paid for HBO, you would get one of them and the other one you could pay for separately. I don't remember which one was which. But then they merged it together for HBO Max and then Max they have and then they the switched to Max all together which is a different movie but thankfully they also have every Godzilla movie produced from 1954 to 1975 except for King Kong vs Godzilla which is not on any streaming services you have to buy the blu-ray to watch it Oh yeah Well I mean there was this other video I watched that was talking about um uh basically Netflix has won the streaming wars, you know, like there was, you know, there was a whole South Park special about the streaming wars and, you know, all these companies that were just dumping all this money in to try to, to, to take out Netflix and Netflix didn't really like, because they were, because they were such a giant and had so many subscribers. And then all these other streaming platforms opened up, especially with like Disney plus, um, you know, people, got the additional subscriptions on top of Netflix, but they didn't get rid of Netflix or replace Netflix with anything else. It's like, well, let's go ahead and have, you know, Netflix as the, the Walmart or the catch all of streaming services. And then if there's something specific, I want like ESPN plus, or, um, you know, uh, maybe, I mean, like I'm doing, Amazon has got that, get that video prime video, included with your your membership so it's like sure i have it but i just want free shipping okay oh well, let's see what the comments were saying about donkey's videos ugh ugh i hate this old why do i have to type in old every time there you go okay he's not kidding this is where you watch all the pokemon yep sure enough YouTube is actually on there. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to be honest. I pirate anything that is a year or older and not on any streaming service in my region. Just get the extension that auto redirects. Oh. 
Let's see. So that's the Pokemon thing. I had a feeling it was real because nobody would make it up because that's too unbelievable to be, to be satire. This isn't some kind of fan website showing you where to watch. It's the official Pokemon website. Oh, it is. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, meaning they paid someone to sit there and write this guide, presumably went through a few meetings deciding how best to present it, work with designers on the graphics, and at no point did anybody say, hey guys, this is kind of fucked up, no? <laughs> yeah, I mean, so it's it's on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, so it's on eight different services. Well, I think some of these overlap. So if Hulu's got seventeen to nineteen, so does Prime Video. Yeah, Netflix is just season one to, and then there's a giant gap. No one's got season two. Oh, Prime Video channels the beginning of season two. Oh, that's just. So that's crazy. YouTube is on there because they replace Google Play movies with just the YouTube player. Oh, I got you. A single person involved making that guide was remotely involved in selling the rights and that they said, hey, this is kind of fucked up very regularly. Yeah, probably. It's Steve Pokemon, founder of Pokemon. He's making all these calls. And everybody wants to be the new Netflix. Nobody gets to be the new Flex Netflix. Yo ho ho, which I'm assuming that just means that they're doing the pirating thing. Seriously, I don't want to jump through your bullshit hoops and watch stuff. So Sonar, Sonar Go Burr and Jellyfin lets me watch whatever the fuck I want. Because of your comment, I just looked up Sonar and it sounds helpful. Uh, great example of the clusterfuck that is streaming currently. Companies need to realize the ease of access is how you get money. Never pirated a video game since Steam came along. That's true. Like I have got Steam, Blizzard, and the um, the Xbox Game Pass. Um, Jellyfin is really nice. Jellyfin, well, Jellyfin, Jellyfin, Jellyfin.org. Oh, free software media system. What is Jellyfin? Enables you to connect, manage, and stream your media. Oh, so this is like Plex. Show your okay. See Jellyfin, find a client. Okay, well, that's cool. Uh, I've been using Plex for a very long time. <laughs> when did Plex come out? Uh, two thousand nine. Is it really only 2009? I thought it was older than that. No, it's got to be older than that. Plex.inc. Plex. When did the software come out? Because... thousand eight. Is when Plex Media Sart came out. Jellyfin's like Plex, but open source. That's cool. I bought the, um, they had a sale for like the Plex lifetime membership for 75 bucks or something like that. And then when I got that like coupon, I had already been using it for years. Um, 2008. God, I just, I feel like. I was using that in the early 2000s. Did it really? Whatever. Um, let's see. Pokemon got me. You would think the distributor would care about keeping the product as a whole, but nope, just money. Yeah, I mean, and, and since they're they're overlapping, it's like, hey, we have this product, seasons, you know, X, Y, 17 and 19, and we'll get money from Amazon and Hulu like yeah um but them okay so it, you know it seems like Netflix oh and the and and you know this is 3 to 5 and then 6 to 9 so where's season 10 
select movies seasons. I don't get this. Ruby and Sapphire is six to nine. And then Diamond and Pearl is 10 to 13 on the Prime Video channels. I don't know what that means. But, I mean, it should just be... Um, should just be... Everybody knows Here's Big Mouth. Everything about your dad makes me sad. If I mute what? this. Okay. So they've got, yeah, seasons one through seven, every episode. Like, that's what you want. But, of course, this is a Netflix series, so it's only going to be on Netflix, and it's going to have everything. My largest single show I have pirated was all of Top Gear. It's not really on any physical media and you can't really stream all of it. So I had to go grab it. The torrent is 900 gigabytes. Jeez. I have a, um, what do I have? I got, I got a four terabyte M two drive for my OS and my, my games. And then I've got a 10 terabyte for like video, recordings like this is all my streams and um and then like i don't know maybe like pictures of you know backgrounds and weird party snack images um but i i i, I want to get a nas for all my stuff um but i just haven't put the money into it because I had to buy microphones and a green screen and, you know, all this crazy stuff. My girlfriend had never seen Rome. A few weeks ago, I searched for it on BBC iPlayer. It was a co-production with BBC. It was not there. I looked on my girlfriend's parents' Sky Go account, and Sky is where most of HBO's contents is shown in the UK. It's where we watched House of Dragon. It's not there. Turns out it was on ITV X Brit box. So we paid for an ITV subscription to watch Rome at le at a leisurely pace of two episodes a week. We are halfway through season two when it completely vanished. And now it's not on any streaming services we have access to. It is maybe going to HBO max. We canceled ITV X. Meanwhile, we were also watching Battlestar Galactica. This debuted in the UK on Sky, but it's not on Sky. It was on BBC iPlayer for some reason. We got most of the way through season two and it vanished. It was no longer on BBC iPlayer. I don't think it's on UK streaming service. We want to watch a movie. So we flick through Netflix. There's nothing there. It's all fucking trash. I'd quite like to watch the good, the bad and the ugly. It's not on Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, SkyGo, all four or iPlayer. So nothing that we have access to. I would have to pay four, around four euros on Amazon to watch it once on top of whatever we're paying for the aforementioned shit. Streaming is a mess. It's a shit show of corporate greed and short term profit motive. At least Disney Plus has the bear and all of the Simpsons back catalog, I guess. Oh, yeah, I just remember I still haven't seen the South Park Streaming Wars episode because fuck paying for Paramount Plus just for South Park. And that's exactly what I did. I think it was like a hundred and I don't know, maybe 110 bucks for a year or something like that. I don't remember. I think I got Showtime as well, which we haven't opened up once. 